Hey everybody, um, thank you for asking. There are a couple people that reached out to see how the uh, Kitazawa seeds went. And I've got a couple here. Unfortunately, um, there was a tower mishap. Uh, so I had left for a week um, and I went to Mexico and prior to leaving, I made sure that the tower was full. It was at, I think a little over, um, a little over halfway. So like on the marker. And I thought that it was gonna be fine. Um, I ended up spur of the moment deciding to extend my trip to um, two weeks. And when I came back, I was actually really looking forward to all of the fresh herbs and you know being able to cook my own food and stuff again. And unfortunately, um, it everything was dead. Uh, so everything was just drooped over and it was you know, a scene out of the tornado um, stuff that happened, uh, you know, a few months ago when all of my plants died and it was really, you know, upsetting. And I was then worried, you know, of course I was upset about all the plants and then I was more so worried like, okay, well, why did it shut off? And then I noticed that the water level was quite low. It was, I think the indicator was like right here or something. Um, and yeah, so I'm assuming that the, the um, water, like, I don't know why it went that quickly. I've never had the water drain um, or, you know, go get that low before in like two weeks. Um, but I'm assuming that the pump just like shut itself off or something. And yeah, so I cleaned up the tower, cleaned everything out. There was one survivor, uh, the Colantro, and not cilantro. Um, one survivor, so I kept him. This is, of course, this is the usual hydroponic basil that I just pop in there from the store. Um, and I took everything else out and just kind of wiped it down. And yeah, so I am restarting and it's, it really sucks. Um, but, you know, things happen and I'm glad that the tower, you know, didn't have any like permanent damage or anything. I will say that I don't know if it was just, you know, timing or what, but these seeds did seem to take um, a bit more time than usual, like compared to my other seeds that seem to sprout within like two, three days. Um, these ones took a, a lot of time. There were, there were, I don't think I had any like duds, like everything was able to sprout, but um, it definitely wasn't as quick. So anyways, you know, just restarting and we will see what happens. Um, another new addition that I can share is I recently ordered this um, greenhouse on Amazon. I want to start a patio um, greenhouse, so I got one of these. It had some really good reviews on it, and I need to repot. Um, those were like some spring-type flowers and stuff, and you can see I also have been composting, so that is the compost um, spinner thingy back there. Uh, but yeah, I just set this greenhouse up yesterday, and then today I actually went and got some bricks to kind of weigh it down so it won't blow away in the wind. Um, but I was really pleased with how easy it was to set up and it seems like um, it's gonna do, you know, the job. So I ordered a couple of digital thermometers so I could, you know, keep, keep an eye on what the temperature and the humidity is on the inside of this. I got those off of Amazon for like, I don't know, like $9 for two. I'm gonna put one outside of the greenhouse and one inside just so I can like do a really quick and easy temperature um, comparison and right now I just have my uh, lemon tree and then there's a succulent back there that I got from a neighbor um, but yeah so I will let you guys know how that goes and I'm gonna try to build a DIY hydroponic system um, as you can see there's an outlet out here so that makes it really convenient um, but there's about I don't know three feet of space past my um, lemon tree so I think there'll be plenty of space to build a little kind of vertical like stacked uh, hydroponic and that will be my first time doing that so I'm really really excited and I will definitely share that with you guys as well um, so here's to giving the tower another go and hopefully um, I'll do a better job with this crop this time and actually for this one um, yeah so I started some new seeds today and I'm really really hoping that it works out and I'll let you guys know. Thanks, bye.